Cambridge Primary Science 6 Learner's Book 2nd Edition Unit 1 The Human Body The Circulatory System We are going to Describe the parts of the circulatory system and their functions Learn that the circulatory systems of other animals are similar to ours Measure pulse rates and record results in tables Make a prediction and plan a fair test on the effect of exercise on pulse rate Use results to say if the prediction was accurate Describe any patterns in results and use results to make a conclusion. Find information to answer a scientific question. Ask a question to investigate and find the answer. Words to learn. Blood, blood vessels, carbon dioxide, circulation, circulatory system, heart, oxygen, pressure, pulse. Getting started. The parts inside your body are called organs. The body organs do different jobs to keep you alive and healthy. Discuss these questions with a partner. Be prepared to share your ideas with the class. 1. Which organ is found in the head? 2. Which organs are found in the chest? 3. Which organ pumps blood around the body? 4. Name two organs in the digestive system. Parts of the circulatory system. The circulatory system carries food and oxygen to all parts of your body. It also carries waste substances that your body does not need. The circulatory system has three main parts, the heart, blood vessels, blood. The heart. Put your hand on your chest. Can you feel your heart beating? Why does your heart beat? Make a fist with your hand. That's how big your heart is. Your heart is found inside your chest, slightly to the left. It is protected by the ribs. Your heart is a special muscle. Its job is to pump blood through your body. This process is called circulation. Every time the heart muscle contracts to pump blood, you can feel a heartbeat. It takes less than a minute to pump blood to every part of your body. The heart does this all the time and never stops. The heart has two sides. The left side pumps blood that contains oxygen all around the body. The right side pumps blood without oxygen to the lungs only. The drawing shows the flow of blood in the heart. When you look at the drawing, remember that the left side of the drawing shows the right side of the heart and the right side of the drawing shows the left side of the heart. Blood vessels and blood. Blood is a red liquid that flows around the body. The blood carries food particles and oxygen to all parts of the body. It also picks up waste products such as carbon dioxide from the body and carries them to organs which can get rid of them. Carbon dioxide is a waste gas that the body must get rid of. The kidneys and lungs are body organs that help the body get rid of waste products. Blood moves through the body in the blood vessels. Look at the inside of your wrist. Sometimes you can see the blood vessels through your skin. There are three kinds of blood vessels, arteries, veins, capillaries. Each kind of blood vessel has a different structure and function in the body. The blood vessels run from the heart to the lungs, around the body and back to the heart. Blood always moves along the same pathway in the blood vessels. The heart pumps blood in arteries to the lungs to pick up oxygen. The oxygen-rich blood travels back in veins from the lungs to the heart. These are the only veins that carry blood with oxygen. The heart pumps the oxygen-rich blood in other arteries to the rest of the body. The blood from the rest of the body, which is now low in oxygen, travels back to the heart in veins. Questions 1. What does the heart do? Why does it do this? 2. What is a heartbeat? Three. Why does the heart pump blood to the lungs before it pumps blood to the rest of the body? 4. Why do we need three different types of blood vessels? 5. Describe to your partner the pathway of blood around the body. Make a cycle diagram to show this pathway. Circulatory systems of other animals. Many vertebrates have a similar circulatory system to ours. Heartbeat and pulse. Your heart beats about 90 times a minute. When you are grown up it will beat about 70 times a minute. When you run around, your body needs a lot more food and oxygen. The more active you are, the more often your heart needs to beat to supply enough food particles and oxygen from the blood. You can count your heartbeats by feeling your pulse. Your pulse is caused by the pressure of the blood as the heart pumps it to the rest of the body. Two good places to find your pulse are on the side of your neck and the inside of your wrist. When you find your pulse you will feel a small beat under your skin. Each beat is caused by the contraction of your heart muscle.